Now that we know how to read input registers, we can use this exact same block and read 4x registers or percent %mw's. But we want to write variables. So what I'll do is I'll copy the read variable logic because the write variable logic is very, very similar. And I will paste it. The first thing we'll do is we'll change the read var function block and replace it with a write var function block. Very similar. Address is the same. The objects, since we're writing, is we're going to change to a 4x register or in IEC format percent memory word. Where are we going to put the data in the Modbus device? We're going to put it in the hundredth register. We'll go ahead and write five registers, five integers, and the EMIS pin is the values where we're getting the values in this controller to write to the Modbus device. So in our case, I have a variable created called data to write. It is an array 0 to 4 for the five integers and we will write that to the hundredth register in the Modbus device. And then lastly we'll set up the Modbus write parameters. So that is the configuration of our write var. We will change our trigger because we know it is rude to listen when you should be talking or the other way. So we'll change it to write the variables. That's our logic. So let's build our changes. And we'll go to our table. These are the Modbus write parameters. Again, we know we need a timeout because that is very important because if the cable were unplugged, the timeout of zero is infinite and we don't have that long to wait. So the data we're going to write are the values of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We'll write those values into the hundredth register of the Modbus device. I happen to have a Modbus device sitting over here and 100th register, 101st through 104th registers. I will write the values into the Modbus device. I can zero these values out. And I can trigger the write again. And voila! In the next video, we will automate the sequencing of the messaging again because we know it is rude to talk when you should be listening or vice versa.